Gun Meme Review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome back to another episode where you guys have sent in your favorite gun memes from across the internet, and I review them. And as you saw by the title and thumbnail of this video, we gotta talk about Biden again. I know the last two videos have been kind of political and I don't like it any more than you do, but come on, the guy can't stop saying stupid shit. A 22 caliber bullet will lodge in a lung, and we can probably get it out, maybe able to get it, and save the life. A 9 millimeter bullet blows the lung out of the body. No, we didn't edit that. He really said that. These are your lungs. These are your lungs on 9 millimeter. Now look, I don't expect everybody to be a ballistics expert. But if I didn't know he was too old for it, I would have thought the president is playing a little bit too much fallout. 9mm bullets cause the human body to explode, no lie. This is a 50 BMG. If any small arm was going to be capable of potentially blowing your lung out of your body, possibly be this one. This is a 9mm. Throughout all of my life, the only criticism I've ever heard of the 9mm is that it doesn't have enough power. Maybe I'm just not using the right kind of ammo. Maybe I should use the Winchester Lung Blower. It'll blow the lungs right out. Anybody who's ever been hunting anything ever knows how completely nonsensical this is sure we all know that exit wounds are going to be typically larger than entrance wounds but it's a nine millimeter man there's a reason hollow points exist and that's because on their own typically handgun rounds don't really deliver a whole lot of energy to the target especially compared to rifle rounds but according to biden this is a graphic depiction of a nine millimeter exit wound the original poster called this the federal american blood eagle hell i carry a nine millimeter and let me just say there's a reason why the Glock 19 holds 15 plus 1. It's a great caliber. There's a reason why it's the most popular handgun caliber of all time. However, what it won't do is, uh, well... Blows the lung out of the body. I want a 9mm for Christmas. You'll blow your lung out of your body, kid. <laughs> Immediately after this, uh, Biden goes on to talk about how the Second Amendment was never absolute, and then he goes on his shit about cannons again for some reason. The Constitution, the Second Amendment, was never absolute. You couldn't buy a cannon when the Second Amendment was passed. One, when any president ever starts talking about how your constitutional rights are not absolute, you should be very worried. The Bill of Rights very much is absolute. That's why many states didn't agree to be part of the nation until they were ratified. Secondly, and I know we've talked about this before, I don't know why Biden keeps talking about cannons. You have always been able to own a cannon. I own a cannon. Shit, I'm about to buy another cannon. It is legally easier for you to buy a cannon than it is for you to buy a Glock. Unless you don't own a truck, in which case it might just be logistically difficult. The fact of the matter is, the people that are talking about this from a position of authority nowadays have no fucking clue what they are talking about. And unfortunately, this comes as a surprise to no one. But speaking of people not knowing jack shit about gun laws, we have another small meme thread talking about my time going undercover as an anti-gun protester at the protest that happened outside of the uh, NRA convention in Houston, Texas just recently. If you haven't seen the video yet, the link will be going up on the screen now, hopefully. Thank you, Delance. Crashing a protest. I'm playing both sides so that I always come out on top. I'm alarmed at how well that Photoshop works. How do you do, fellow protesters? I honestly thought I was gonna have to do more to disguise myself, but that was not, not an issue. Literally nobody expected me to be a plant, which was kind of interesting because I look like me and the typical protester looks like this. You need a gun, cause you're weak! Yeah, buddy, I don't know about that. Whoever told you that that was a good chant for you to shout at a protest is honestly meaner than anything I could ever say to you. Law enforcement officers patrolling anti-gun protest. Ran in Herrera amidst anti-gun protesters. Now, I do know for a fact there's a couple of cops out there that did notice we made eye contact and uh, I, I could tell you, you knew something was up. Thank you for not blowing my cover, but that would have been probably hilarious. Another funny thing that came out of it is a lot of you guys pointed out that I accidentally flashed the fact that I was carrying in the beginning of the video because A, I carry everywhere, everywhere that I can. But it did help add to the subversive trolling of the video. It's a surprise tool that will help us later. Which obviously you don't go to places like that hoping for violence or hoping for confrontation because that's just not what fucking adults do. For me, carrying a gun every day is like second nature. It's just a good thing to do for basic personal safety. Because again, like a parachute, if you need it and you don't have it, I promise you, you'll never need it again. 
But I hope you guys do watch that video and enjoy it for the, uh, I guess, educational satire that it is, and not think that it's a total like, hatchet job or anything. Which, speaking of hatchet job, I wanted to give a quick thanks to uh, Wooks for sending me this dope-ass hatchet. That was a cool sound. But if you look, they even have my signature engraved on it, which is that's pretty cool. They do a bunch of stuff in the precision rifle world and everything like that, but they also know that I kind of like sharp things because I'm a dude. So thanks for this, guys. I appreciate it. And if you want to check them out, the links are in the description in the pinned comment. I'm going to put this down before I accidentally stab myself. And without further ado, I know what you guys are here for. We've got another Marty Robbins meme. ATF Ballads and Other Trail Songs. The Alphabet Boys. Ghost Gun Gang. Burning Building Desire. Snoopy's Last Stand. Wake Up Warriors. That Poodle Has a Gun! Ruby Ridge Red. Smells Like Infringement. 80% Lower No More Remix. Hotel California. Speaking of California, I think there's only one place uh, that I know of right now in North America that would be worse for gun rights to live in, and unfortunately, it's our northern friends in Canada. You see, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Blackface Trudeau just introduced legislation that will ban the importation, sale, or transfer of any kind of handguns in Canada, which is fucking insanity. Seriously, if you're gonna leave a comment somewhere in there, Go ahead and leave an F for our Canadian brothers. There are a lot of cool gun owners in Canada, and dad, this blows. I also just hate how smug Justin Trudeau is. Canada, I, I can't even imagine. Justin Trudeau has the demeanor about him of somebody who apologizes after accidentally walking in on his wife with another man. I'm sorry, eh? C can I get you guys a towel? Have every gun control measure imaginable. Ban all handguns just because. Make it clear for the Americans that gun control will always be back for more. Make it clear for the Americans that gun control will always be back for more. You see, one thing that's become clear to me is that most Americans have no clue the amount of gun laws that are already on the books and that have been continuously piling up since the 30s. And if the protesters I was talking to didn't make it clear, a lot of the laws that they're advocating for are already on the books in, in some form or the other. There is no appeasing the forever march toward gun control. There will always be more tragedies. There will always be people willing to take advantage of those tragedies for political gain. And there will always be more gun laws. It doesn't stop. People use Canada as a shining example of what gun control should look like 10 years ago. And it's only gotten worse from there. They're still going, they're still chipping at it. It's never enough. Because at the end of the day, these people don't actually care if these laws are effective. Sure, they'd like them to be. But the one thing you'll hear repeated over and over again is that they just want to do something. They want to take action. They want to do their part, and they want the dopamine release of feeling good because they were part of the solution, even if the solution does fuck all. Meanwhile, I just continue to ignore them and acquiring machine guns because, no, well, let's face it, they hold value better than the stock market or the dollar. Me, it's medicinal, cop. Well, first of all, that's a belt-fed machine gun. I love this variant of the meme, it just doesn't even bother to spell machine, right? Come on, if you can have an emotional support hamster, you can have an emotional support machine gun. My machine guns do more for my mental health than most people. In fact, you know what? One sec. There we go. A little bit of a wardrobe change for you. These are our new emotional support machine gun shirts that are available over at Bunker Branding. I got the links down in the description and in the pin comment if you want to check these out. We've also got patches, so if you want to throw these on your plate carriers, your backpacks, or your emotional support animal vests to throw on your machine guns, you can do that too. So if you support the right to own an emotional support machine gun, you can pick up one of these at the links down below. It's a great way to support the channel, but if you can't do that or you just don't feel like spending any money, you can always just subscribe. Subscribing, clicking the notification bell, and liking the video are three free ways to support the channel, which I greatly appreciate. So we've got another one here for our Canadian brethren. If we banned guns, crime would go away. And if stupid could fly, you'd be a fucking jet. I feel like you can't properly speak like Sam Elliott without a big ass fucking mustache in the way of your mouth. <laughs> I also just realized they photoshopped Justin Trudeau's eyes to be a little offset for this meme. I think they photoshopped that. He could just be a little cross-eyed, I, I don't know. I know it's a bit of a boomer meme, but let's be honest, I just wanted to try my Sam Elliott impression. And here we have another Kyle Rittenhouse meme. Unhinged lunatic in a school shooting children for 40 minutes. Uvalde SWAT team. This is of course referring to the awful shooting that happened just down the road from us in Uvalde. And while it is being used to push gun control nationally, and I guess apparently internationally, it has not been looking good for the local PD there. 
It appears for one reason or the other, whether it was hesitation or using the wrong protocol for this situation, the police stood by for 40 minutes while the shooter did his thing. In reality, there are probably a few details that are much worse than that. Ultimately, multiple failures like this, most likely leading to the casualty count that we saw that day, instead of greasing that asshole the moment he stepped on school property. At first I was like, but then I was like, Yeah, I don't want to jump into the media hype of just attacking people without knowing the details, but given that thoughts and prayers do you know, fuck all, I would really love to know what actually happened here. Ideally, if we know what happened, then we can figure out how to fix that in the future and make sure whatever fucked up error of communication happened doesn't happen ever again. I know my buddy Donut Operator has talked about doing a video breaking down exactly what happened because there is a lot of misinformation out there right now. But for now, I can only confidently say three things. One, I hope this wasn't just an act of complete negligence because that, that is a hard thing to live with. Two, if there is a hell, the shooter is burning there. Makes me feel a little better. Three, if I ever meet that off-duty border patrol guy who borrowed a shotgun, drove to the school, I owe him a beer or 10, dealer's choice. But in reality, if people are using this as an opportunity to go after guns, and to rag on the police. They are so close, but they are missing the mark. The message that you should be getting from this is that you can't always count on the police to be there to protect you. One of the biggest reasons to own a gun is for your own protection. Because when the chips are down and the police are forming a perimeter trying to figure out what the fuck to do, the only person you can count on for your protection and for the protection of your loved ones is yourself. Don't allow yourself to be a soft target. Don't be a victim. Got a little hot and heavy on that one. Let's let's go back to some other gun memes. Anything Caltech invents. Consumer, what is it? Caltech. We don't know. Yeah, Caltech has been known for a lot of new firearms. They have not been known for normal firearms. I know a lot of the running meme threads have been, you know, the whole, you know, Caltech is on crack kind of theme. The Caltech R&D department with the uh, cocaine choo-choo. I'm somewhat of a connoisseur of Caltech guns myself, so I, I almost think we should do a video sometime coming up uh, just about all the different crazy shit Caltech's done over the years. Because my God, do they have some unique designs. Speaking of unique designs, we definitely have an interesting weapon to show you guys coming up soon. I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's something I know you've never seen before. Most of you probably don't even know it ever existed, but if you do, it's probably from video games and maybe a couple movies. But be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos coming up. We're already working on them for you. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. And as always, I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. These are the new emotional machine, oh, emotional machine gun, that's not good.